Chemical reactions are so common in our daily life, but you may not notice them as we don't know that all these are happening because of chemical reactions. Let's take an example of photosynthesis, the same old process used by the plant to prepare their food. Or how about a burning of candle or even rusting of iron? All these are very common examples for chemical reactions happening around us. But do you know what drives the molecules to undergo chemical reactions? So let's follow me to the world of molecules where all the reactions are taking place. To find the answer of these questions, you need to understand two terms, enthalpy and entropy. Enthalpy is the amount of heat absorbed or released from the system during reactions. Chemical bond possesses potential energy. During chemical reactions, old bond breaks and new bond form along with the release or absorption of the energy which leads to the change of the potential energy of the molecular system. Molecules with lower energy are more stable because stability comes with more attractive force and less repulsive force between atoms. Attractive force lowers the potential energy of the molecule while repulsive force increases the potential energy of the molecule. In order to break the bond, external energy is required and in the formation of the bonds, energy is released by the system. It can be understood by an example. A garden slide, we first have to invest our energy to reach it to its top and then we automatically reach to the ground by sliding. Similarly, in order to break the old bonds, energy is required. And just like a garden slide, these bonds are also having certain fixed energy level known as threshold energy or energy barrier. Unless the provided energy didn't reach to the threshold energy, the reaction won't go. So enthalpy of the reaction is now the amount of energy which is required to break the bond plus the amount of energy released by the system. But now there's a twist. What if the energy of the product is less than the energy of the reactant? Then this reaction will be known as exothermic reaction because heat is given out by the system. And if the product energy is higher than the reactant energy, then the reaction will be known as endothermic reaction because heat is taken by the system from the surrounding. Now let's try to find out the enthalpy of the system. Taking the example of propane molecule reacting with hydrogen molecule. So the two bonds C double bond C and H single bond H will be broken down to form a new bond. The enthalpy of CC bond is 610 kilojoule per mole while the enthalpy of HH bond is 436 kilojoule per mole. So the total energy needed to break this bond is 1046 kilojoule per mole. This is the amount of energy which is required to break the bond of reactants. Now when the CH-CH bond will form, there will be a release of energy in the formation of a new bond. As this energy is given out by the system to the surrounding, we need to put negative sign. So it would be minus 346 kilojoule per mole for CC bond and minus 413 for CH bond. So the total amount of energy released by the system is minus 1172 kilojoule per mole. For the total enthalpy of the system, we need to add the total amount of energy needed to break the bond plus the total amount of energy released by the system. So the end result will be minus 126 kilojoule per mole. As the delta H value is coming negative, this shows that the reaction is exothermic reaction. The energy will be released out by the system. Next about entropy. Entropy plays a crucial role in the reaction. It is the measure of the disorder of the system. Once what ice is now became a liquid water with more freely moving molecules is what term as entropy change. If you found this video interesting then please hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and write down in the comment section what next you want to watch on this channel. Thank you.